Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Marie, for the nice introduction. Um, welcome, everyone, to our webcast. Again, my name is Tim Barrios, and we're going to talk today about Rational's kind of latest uh, set of technologies that have to do with application lifecycle management. And so in the Rational world, we call that, again, the ALM, Application Lifecycle Management. Um, so what th this is something that Rational's been in the works building for about six or so years. It, it was first released as a beta about that time frame, and it's been in production ever since. It's on its third major release set of, of tools on this technology. The agenda we're going to go through, we're going to kind of start with a little bit of background, not, not a lot, just a little bit of kind of the situation, the motivation for why IBM Rational ended up going into this set of technologies. And then into the bit of the details behind it, the actual IBM Rational CLM, the Collaborative Lifecycle Management is what we call it. And then kind of give the walk through the steps of it by doing it in order of what we call the ALM imperatives, sort of best practices, if you will, for what makes for a good application lifecycle management environment. And then lastly, wrap things up with a couple of proven results in the background. In general, of course, I, can, software continues to drive innovation for today's both businesses and, of course, the IBM uh, kind of mantra of smarter planet. And this, one of the reasons why this certainly makes sense for the rational set of technologies is that it's both IT, things having to do with running software on your own, you know, your own applications, but it also has to do with systems and software engineering where it's embedded devices especially now more and more embedded devices. You have mobile devices and things like vehicles that are smarter. Everything in the world is becoming addressable and smarter in such a way that it can take, well, by, by having software that's enabling that technology. So having to do, or being able to do software development is becoming more and more of a team sport, as we like to say, something that's not just an individual couple of developers here and there, it's quite often groups of people, so that's where the collaboration comes in. It's not just good enough to have applications that are developed by individuals or even a couple of individuals, but typically teams are not co-located, and what we, what we mean by that is maybe not, not in the same you know, cubicle, literal co-location, they might be across a building, across a, a country, or across the world. And so that becomes very important for being able to provide that collaboration in terms of software development life cycles, there's really kind of three high-level aggregate cycles. There's things that you do before you actually start developing, meaning kind of before your go no go. Are you you know doing your analysis of what are you going to develop before you start developing it? Then there's the middle cycle, which is about developing itself. Then there's the last step, which is about deploying, taking what you developed and deploying it. And that deployment could be as something as simple as you know updating a website for an IT system. It could be something as more complicated for embedded systems uh, for distributing a set of updates to an EEPROM that has to go out and update you know millions of devices throughout the world. So it, there's different ways of doing deployment. We're focusing today certainly on the middle step of the developing piece, and that's where we that's where the application lifecycle management fits in. IBM, the greater IBM, and, and even Rational as part of it, have things.